Hey guys, what we're gonna solve today is one of the most used functions in real product code base. Okay, the problem is we have a 32-bit variable A and we want to count the number of bits in A which are 1. If you want to try coding this problem yourself, try to minimize the number of iterations that the loop in your solution makes. Please pause this video and start coding. Alright, let's look into a solution. We have an example case of A equal to 100111110. So here the answer would be 5. We could always loop through the bits of A one by one starting from one side and check and count if the bit is 1. But in our previous episode, we had learned the concepts of unsetting the rightmost one in a number. And that concept will help us solve this problem in an efficient way. Please refer to the episode on unsetting the rightmost one. The link is provided in the description below and also on the top right corner of your screen. Okay, so if you have a number A and you want to unset its rightmost one, we can do A equal to A and A minus 1. Now we have A equal to 100111110. The unsetting the rightmost one, we have result equal to 10011100. Okay, doing the same step the second time, a equal to a and a, a minus 1, we have a equal to 10011000. Again, third time, a equal to 10011000. Again, fourth time, a equal to 10000000. And in the fifth time, we have a equal to 0. If you see how many times did we have to do this step? 5 times, right? So this is the same as the number of 1s in A. So what we could do is we could count the number of times we have to do the step of unsetting the rightmost one to find the number of set bits. So we can use a loop which will exit once A becomes 0 and we keep doing a equal to a and a minus 1 inside the loop. Also, we need to count the number of steps needed to make a as 0. So count equal to 0 and count plus plus. This way we won't need to iterate through all the bits in a and the number of iterations required would only be equal to the number of 1s in a. So this is an optimized solution. For your knowledge, counting the number of ones is usually provided as an intrinsic function to the developer for the specific processor. So we usually don't have to implement it ourselves and we directly use the intrinsic which does this task much much faster. In simulation cases though, we sometimes need to implement this. That's it. This brings us to the end of this episode. We're gonna solve some more concept based problems in the upcoming sessions. Do subscribe to this channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you.